think what I love about cycling the most is just the freedom, um, being out on the road, um, seeing new places. Uh, I guess my training, although lakes are beautiful, have been confined to quite small spaces where um, on the bike, I, I guess you had far more freedom to go and explore and um, you know, there's always been roads I've driven past or ridden past and I wonder where that goes and I guess that gave me the freedom to find out. Obviously being, well, I guess arguably one of the strongest cyclists in the country in terms of watts, um, it seems a little bit odd that I might be attracted to an e-bike, um, but the giant, you know, it goes 45k an hour and it, it really was a, a, a means to an end for me. Um, what I was looking for was a way to get down to the lake. Uh, it's 10 kilometres from my house to the lake, um, obviously a 20 kilometre round trip. If you're doing that twice a day, it's about 40 kilometres. It's a, it's a distance that is easily commutable by bike, but if I'm doing it um, that much on top of my, my on water training, it's almost a little bit too far on a conventional push bike. Um, so for me, it was about finding a solution that enabled me to basically save time, save money, and save the environment a little bit as well along the way. So not only am I saving time, but when you think about the cost of fuel, 40 k's a day, um, we're trained six days a week, um, sort of 11 months of the year. You know, I worked it out, if you look at the IRD's um, rate on kilometres, they say 77 cents a kilometre. You know, to, to pay off the purchase price of, of one of these e-bikes, it's only about 4,000 kilometres ridden and it's paid for itself at the IRD rate. So not only there am I saving time, but saving money. And, and as everyone knows, if I'm taking 4,000 kilometres of road, you know, driving my car out of the equation, that's obviously great for the environment as well. I chose to partner with Evo Cycles and Giant um, for a couple of main reasons. Um, Evo Cycles, obviously they've got a local store uh, for me in Cambridge, uh, really quality mechanics that I've worked with um, for a number of years while I was cycling seriously. Um, so I have confidence in their abilities to help me when, when I, I guess my skills are exhausted. And obviously the Giant for me, first and foremost, it's the quickest e-bike uh, on, the, on the market and um, that's what I was about. I mean, I can pedal at 30k an hour, but it I can pedal at 45k an hour, but I have to pedal a little bit harder than I want to on a daily basis. If you think about your situation, there's an e-bike that can work for everyone. You can take it from me that it is quite exhilarating riding an e-bike. Um, if you've ever had a tailwind, a really strong tailwind, you know, you feel strong, you're going fast. Basically that's what it's like the whole time on the e-bike. Um, it's got good range, you don't have to worry about the batteries running out. Um, and really I think you do the sums, you work out what it's going to save you in terms of time or whether it be stuck in traffic, finding parking or money in terms of the cost of petrol and that sort of thing. There really is good reasoning behind anybody getting an e-bike.